Hello everyone. Today we will give a presentation about Wii from Nintendo, which is regarded as a revolution in home gaming console industry. Generally, video game industry can, could be divided into different platforms, but we decide to focus on console industry because serious grandpa gamers prefer the console as they have strong graphic capabilities. A console is an interactive device which produces display signals which is used for view viewing video games. We'd like to divide our presentation into four parts. There are three history, disruptive innovation, first mover, and smart sport. The history of video game console can, could be traced back to 1970s. Odyssey was World's first home video game console in 1972, but it lacked um, sound capabilities. Afterwards, other companies developed new innovative products with a lot of improvements, such as microprocessor-based hardware for Atari and um, data storage for internet vision. However, at that time, the game console market was still at emerging stage. The, the area of home um, game console industry uh, generally um, came along with the development of Nintendo Company. In 1985, the emergence of Nintendo Family Computer um, and the Nintendo Entertainment System quickly occupied the global market with lots of popular video games such as Super Mario Brothers. However, company Sega uh, developed um, another um, console of Jesus in 1989 with a technological improvement on 16-bit console. However, after 1990s, the video game market became increasingly competitive among three large companies named Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo. Sony's PlayStation series, especially PlayStation 2, is the most successful console in the world so far. Xbox series, which is based on Microsoft's superior storage, audio, and video capabilities, becoming another popular console alternative for series green gamers. Therefore, in order to continually sustain the market and keep competitive advantage, Nintendo developed GameCube in, in 2001, which is regarded as the predecessor to Wii. Uh, Nintendo's goal was to introduce a game system which uh, has a low price uh, development cost. Uh, it was targeting to a bigger market and uh, without uh, including no uh, non gamers without boundaries such as age, uh, gender, or gaming experience. It should has uh, has the easier games to play and easy to play controller and the uh, real life game scenario rather than fantasy. Uh, then the Wii was released. Uh, you can you can find the great graphics, uh, uh, Blu-ray discs, and uh, huge store uh, huge storage space in the player. However, you can get the most uh, fantastic gaming experience uh, from Wii. The bigger innovation is the controller. The controller has an accelerometer in it, and uh, which allows it to uh, measure the uh, multiple di uh, measure the motion along multiple dimensions. So, uh, is this uh, a disruptive innovation? Uh, Scott Anthony will uh, talk about uh, the definition. Innovation. What exactly is it? It's a word that gets tossed around a lot, but often misused. Now, when we think about disruptive innovation, we think about a very particular type of innovation, one that creates an entirely new market or transforms an existing one by playing the innovation game differently.
We contrast disruptive innovation to sustaining innovation. Sustaining innovation is about doing it better. It's adding the fifth blade on your razor blade. It's making the picture of your TV ever clearer. It's giving you a better cell phone reception. Sustaining innovations are important. They're the way that markets change, but it's not the best way to create new growth. What a disruptive innovator does is trade off pure performance. Instead of making things much better, they make it much simpler. They make it more affordable. They make it more accessible. They make it more customizable and drive growth by playing the game in a different way. Let me give you a couple of examples. Think about how Sony and Nintendo approach the video gaming industry. Sony said, how do we make it better for our best customers? In this case, bath finger teenagers. So you create ever better graphics, more intense gameplay. The teenagers who've got those twitchy fingers love the PlayStation 3. Nintendo said, what about all the people in the world who don't consume any video game technology at all because it's too complicated or too expensive? Created its Wii product. So simple, so intuitive, that my two and a half year old son has figured out how to play.